All right, good day to you all. If you're just tuning in, uh, welcome. I am the I have the most comprehensive tools of all tool hoarders out there, irrespective of brand. Um, as some people will like you to believe, but anyway, I'm just messing. Um, so that's what around one on Saturday morning. Kind of got my fix of toolbox story. It was a short version this morning, 24 minutes in. I know we all watched that stuff. Yesterday, I, um, well, I ran out of space with this drawer, right? Um, and today, well, this drawer has always been like this. Uh, much of these drawers were just always just like, you buy tools, you just kind of toss it where it fits. And if the drawer closes, then it works. Um, this drawer, I can tell, is very inefficient. For one, I am ditching the blow molded cases, right? These are the genius. This is the Chrome. Never even used them because I got so many extensions and then there's an impact version. I've definitely used these. Um, so then I got these adjustable wrenches from Baco. Probably one of my worst videos out there where people beat me up in the comments so bad, but it was fine. I think it was actually specific about this and not knowing that the jaw kind of flipped around or something. But hey, you know, some guys work with tools day in, day out, and that's their job. So hopefully they know how to use it. Um, in my case, I just pretend I do. Uh, so I got a lot of adjustable wrenches. I mean, this, look at this. Look at this foam. And look at what's in there. This is my first um, touch at stubby ratchets. Um, and yeah, I've never actually used these ones. For hell, they could have been locked up for all I know. So, yeah, I mean, if I ditch this foam right here, I mean, how much space am I saving? So, these are gonna go some some clamp, um, hose clamp stuff, some electrical stuff, all these little things. I mean, look at this. How much space can I save if I take these things out? You know and put them in my little adapter drawer. So this drawer is gonna completely revise, you know, ditching all the little fancy plastic trays and stuff and putting stuff where it belongs. So this is not gonna close anymore. Yesterday, you heard me talk about my my, my Weera. So this was where it was living. So they're both gonna be living simultaneously together. I'll show you that. Um, this, these wrenches are gonna come out of this foam tray. Um, these uh, bajos, bandas, or anvil, sorry. It's like a, a ratchet in line wrench kind of deal. Um, gonna throw all the rest remaining extensions. I mean, you can see I'm not, I'm not pressed for extensions, so. This drawer is slightly too deep for these wrenches. This is gonna be my last wrench drawer. So all the wrenches that I have are gonna make its way into that drawer right there. So I'll have two wrench drawers right there. In total, I'll have a total of four. And then because this drawer is gonna be slightly deeper, I'll figure out something to put in there because I will have something to put in there. Um, a lot of comments. A lot of comments on this uh, this drawer and whether or not stuff is gonna fall over. So far, the only thing that tends to topple over is these um, these uh, smaller three quarter inch deep CTA sockets, and maybe these tall ones right here, um, the double jointed ones. But everything else stays in place. Some guy says it gives him anxiety. Um, some guy says, "How are you gonna know the size?" I don't know. Say I want a. I don't know, 19 mil. Let's see, what is this? Oh, wow, it's a 19 mil. So yeah, maybe the drive size is a little bit more concerning. How do I know the drive size? Well, I can just look down inside of them and be like, okay, well, this this is definitely a half inch size. I mean, um, three eighths, yeah, that's definitely a three eighths. So, I mean, I don't need to see the numbers. You kind of just may do it what you have. Um, so this will work for me for now. Um, yeah, you know, am I opposed to going to trays um, eventually? No, I'm not, but 
as it stands, I would need a second 72 or 73 box, whatever the size this is, side by side um, to make that happen. And even then, I'll probably still be pressed for space. And then I don't have to slam it, right? I'm, I'm not a, this is completely DIY, so, um, you know, this is not, yeah. I'm the only one coming in here. Um, and if I'm, someone else is in here, chances I am, I am here with them. So, you know, if I want to, I would say the wrenches are a little bit harder. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's kind of like, okay. <laughs> Honestly, it's more so picking a wrench. I mean, just pick one and go, you know, like. So, it is what it is. Um, this is purely entertainment for you guys. So, if you're getting bent around the axle or you know it's increasing your anxiety or some kind of um thing then then i mean i would kindly desist from watching it um, it's not perfect uh, but i'm just making do what i have uh it's definitely better than what i had before so what i had before especially with these wrenches yeah i don't know what sizes these are i'd have to go through and be like okay oh yeah i'll take a uh 11 a one and 11 sixteenths. Um, but that's better than what it was before where it was just like a complete mess and it was just all scattered in here. So, um, so I'm gonna get to doing a little organizing. Um, oh yeah, that's what I was, I was thinking. So all these, uh, adjustable wrenches that I have, I know Harbor Freight is running their 15% off this weekend into Monday. And so I'm going to get a, a tray, much like the, the ones I have already. Um, these Harbor Freight like uh, racks for pliers. I'm just going to get a couple more. Um, looks like maybe four of them had fit in here. And then I even have some stuff on the side. So I'll be able to get a couple more. And then this drawer will be well suited. It looks like they're the same size. Yeah, they're the same size. So it'll be well suited for additional pliers or stuff. I don't have a screwdriver drawer. Um, that's one thing I guess I would like to have. But um, again, we're gonna make we're gonna make it happen. You know, take out my torque wrenches in here so I can put any additional random um, random. Uh, long screwdriver so that will go in there this will go in there for this uh, long handle Weera. um all these extensions will come out of this place these um chain wrenches will go in there so yeah everything has a place everything will find us home eventually um but i would like to have a screwdriver drawer i um Honestly, contemplating a, a second box. You heard me say I don't like this box. I I, I just don't. Um, and basically measuring this area right here. Clearly, I don't want to block the doorway, but measuring this area right here, it's uh, a 56 would fit there. And the idea is a 56 bottom, 56 top, and then a 56 overhead. So basically, it would be this entire stack right here, except it would just be a box. But... At the same token, I'm like, why not just get a 73? 73, I'm pretty sure it's 73. 73 bottom, 73 top, and a 73 overhead with that additional storage space over. It's just 73 would not fit right there. Um, it would only fit right here. I like to keep this box. I like this box. I wish I could get a second one. 73 would fit right here, but then the overhead locker would be running into the garage door tracks and wouldn't be really accessible, which is fine. You know, eventually I'll probably move or something and then I could bolt that stuff to this here. And the only reason why that kind of sparks my interest is eventually I'm pretty sure Icon will, uh, or Harbor Freight will, you know, remod this box and make a version two. And since I already have this humongous setup, I'd like to keep it as one. Sure enough, you know, a newer mod might means, you know, they, let me just jump on the bandwagon and say, oh, they're going to copy, you know, other manufacturers and put lights under there and put like a, you know, whatever else fancy stuff that's out there. But I will say that doesn't really fancy me that much. 
I would rather just keep what I have and keep it all symmetrical and looking like it's all one unit purchase at one time. Um, but that's a big chunk of change right now to drop on just a toolbox to, to organize more and to buy more tools. So uh, might hold off the 15% with an additional 10% if you open their credit card is a little bit uh, tempting at 25%. But at the same time, is it worth it right now? And then I would probably sell that, you know, sell that, move that, move that up there, get rid of that, and then put my new Harbor Freight stack right here. Um, there's no room on that side, um, unless I don't intend to park a car over there. That little cutout or whatever for the electrical box just makes it really complicated and offset from the wall. So I think we're gonna make do with what we have. I think what I'll do, and I've said it before, I just haven't done it, is I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a couple more of these drawers. I, don't, I haven't seen many, or I actually haven't seen anyone else with this um, icon setup, you know, install these additional drawers into their stuff. So it comes with four. It comes with four and all the remaining ones I bought. So all the lockers, I mean, you've seen the lockers before, I'm not gonna show it. But all these lockers have additional drawers that I bought. I wanna say I bought like maybe 12 or so. I mean, we got three over here and then we got, could be four on this side. Yeah, four on this side. I wanna say I have 12, um, but yeah. Uh, and then yeah, stuff is just gonna get rearranged and like consolidated and all this stuff. Um, so that's where I don't need to jump into a toolbox immediately. Um, I can, I just can't work with, I can, I just need to work with what I have, the space and then be more efficient with my storage solution. Cause I mean, really you can get as many boxes as you want, but if you're not going to be organized, it's not going to do you any good. So we're going to be organized first before we decide we're going to jump that, jump that fence. Um, but I do like the, these slide out drawers and I'm not opposed to getting more of them because all they're going to do is slide into here. It's like, for instance, this box looking at it as is. I can fit one, two, three, four, five, six. I can fit six more slide out drawers in here. Yeah, sure, I won't be able to store tall stuff in here like these, but I guarantee you I can lay enough stuff down that it's gonna offset the vertical portion. And then whatever is left over, I can fit it up top where I have additional room. And then I can fit it up top there. So I think that's a good, probably be a good bang for my buck to like, just fill in the extra slots with um whatever um so anyway this video is getting long i got stuff to do um this is not a project that's going to be you know completed this weekend or something but it's definitely a start and then as you can see um, a viewer asked about the you know the, the blow molded cases and stuff um I have a desire to start my own mobile mechanic business, um, even though I'm not a mechanic myself. So I know I made mention that, you know, throw them in the trash, recycle them, uh, put them in my storage. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have this cardboard box that um, was hanging around the house and I just uh, grabbed it and this thing is loaded. In fact, it's I'm not gonna be able to shut it. I'm probably gonna have to tape it up like this. Um, Actually, that's what I'll do. I'll tape it up like this. And then, because I'm gonna have a couple more uh, blow molded cases and stuff. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm not, it's not that I'm opposed to giving them away. It's just, I didn't make mention of that. I've made mention of that in a previous video that I, I do plan to start eventually a mobile business. Um, it's just, stuff goes slower than you initially think in your head. So that's where I'm at. Um, so if you're watching, that's why. I believe I had responded to you there. Um, but yeah, they're gonna go get it, get after it. And I'll do a, an update once I, I see some reasonable progress. Uh, last thing that I mentioned, I stood back here yesterday and I was like looking. Um, and I was looking and I was like, oh, there's a lot of badges on this box. It's a lot of icon, you know. 
you watch that guy upstairs garage, man from upstairs garage, and he doesn't like badging on anything. Like if a sticker is on it, he's gonna remove it. Um, and I'm wondering if if I can remove these badges because it's a lot of badges. I mean, they put a badge. We gotta figure this entire setup is what three, six, nine pieces, um, and it's nine badges. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the probably the best badge is the subdued um, icon um, on this uh, stainless steel top. So really, I would I would like to take off all the badge, and if someone knows a good way to take them off without like damaging the painting or something, I would like to take all the badges off. And the only badge that I would leave is I might leave this one. Or I might leave this one. I'm not sure. I might. Mm, I'm not sure. But I was looking at it yesterday. Maybe it's just like creepy stuff. But I was looking at it yesterday and I was like, it's just a lot of icon. Nothing against icon. I'm not going to put a, a snap off or slap a staff snap on up there. Matt, Matt, Cornwall, etc. Um, but it's just like, yeah, a lot of icon. Um, it's just a lot of badging. It's not an icon. It's just a lot of badging. If it was a snap-on, would I feel the same sentiment about taking them off? Uh, maybe it would be. I mean, if they're like large and obnoxious, then yeah, certainly. Um, like you look at the Milwaukee, and yeah, they got the Milwaukee logo on that, and then they got a small Milwaukee badge right here, but. Would I be like stuff like this, this uh, built in power drawer, like this is just advertising what's in there. Do I need that on there? No. Reinforced frame and five inch industrial casters. Do I need it on there? No, it even started to peel. But the fact that I guarantee you that I will get rid of this box eventually. Um, at least it won't be one of my primary boxes. I mean, I could, it could be in a shed or something. So it's not that I need to get rid of it. It's just how don't like I just don't like this thing I don't like this um, so I'll never get another toolbox with this type of lid it just doesn't make sense like I like the the Harbor Freight the icon lid here where it just it just folds up out of the way and it's still very much functional you're not gonna set stuff on top of it um, so yeah but talking about badging yeah I uh, in fact I know I'm gonna keep this box so I'm mean, actually gonna, I will take off that badge. Yeah, I don't need to have all that stuff on there. And then the Milwaukee right there is fine, you know. I don't need it to be a plain box. So I'll take that off. That's not gonna affect the resale value. Hell, I might even take that off, it's mine. If someone wants to buy it, then they can get one sticker if they want to. Anyway, I'm blabbering at this point, 18 minutes in. Um, last comment I'll make, someone said, well, this is not a, this is the ID lift, by the way. It's not a, a max jack, the person said. I believe this is what they might have been referring to. Yeah, so when you park a car in here, it comes up to about this line. So I can get, I can get in the top ones and I can get partially in the bottom drawers right there. They're not gonna open all the way. But when the car is on the lift and it's in the air, I have full access to it really, so it's not a big deal. And if I do, I just back the car out, partially out of the garage door, and I still have access. Um, anyway, I said I was gonna get to it. I'm gonna upload this video, and while I'm uploading, charging this battery, I'm gonna get stuff done. I mean, I always say, like on anything.